Good morning, VC. All right, it's the Zonk Man coming at you for another video. Yes, back again after a couple, maybe a couple weeks or something like that missing. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing a contest video for a friend in the vinyl community, of course. Brian's Vinyl Records is the channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed, go check it out. He's doing a contest, a 100 subs contest. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're doing a contest video. Uh, of course, there's some questions that he wants us to answer. Uh, basically, just show some albums from different time in your life. Once that's from grade school, middle school, high school, and then college or after high school era. Um, just show what uh, what reminds you of that time or what you were listening to at that time. Uh, as far as the Zonk Man, uh, it wasn't any stoner rock yet in uh, in uh, in uh, grade school. Uh, so the uh, but I guess you'd say this this is what got me there. Even though this is this is going to be all pretty much uh, popular music or pop music uh, listening to through school or whatever. But I guess I just need to get to showing uh, what we're going to do. We're going to start off grade school. Uh, of course, we're going to date ourselves a little bit. Uh, this album came out in 1982. Everybody's familiar with it, and I can't believe I'm showing it, but uh, I do have it. Michael Jackson, Thriller. Now, I did not have the album uh, in grade school. But I probably did have a couple of 45s, Beat It and Billy Jean. And uh, when I was first spinning some 45s, uh, no longer have those 45s. I uh, have no idea where they're at. They probably got stomped, smashed, scratched, who knows what. Um, but uh, grade school, Michael Jackson thriller, everybody's familiar with that, whether you want to be or not. Uh, another uh, iconic figure from the same time frame and album is the same year. Prince, 1999, uh, 1982 album. And to be honest with you, I was probably s stealing my older sister's 45s of like Little Red Corvette and 1999. So we, did, we didn't have this album or anything in the, in the house. But uh, definitely spending some of the 45s. Of course, y'all are all familiar with Prince and the Revolution iconic stuff then we're going to move into middle school um maybe not quite got to the time frame where uh my uncle really exposed me into the music from the 60s and early 70s um but we did get maybe a little harder just to just uh rock that was popular at the time uh i'm gonna show from 1983 some huey lewis in the news sports uh, I want a new drug, the heart of rock and roll. Uh, everybody's uh, familiar with this stuff too. Uh, Huey Lewis was the uh, in the Back to the Future uh, movie, of course. The uh, when they're doing the talent contest, <laughs> and he tells Michael J. Fox he's just too loud. Okay, um, some more stuff. Still uh, middle school type stuff, and that that was probably uh, cassette tape, of course, at this time. Now we got a cassette tape of Huey Lewis. Remember having the cassette tape, the Police Synchronicity. Uh, Y'all probably gonna say, "Oh, it's not the best Police album or whatever." Um, but as a kid, this was my exposure. Every breath you take, King of Pain, wrapped around your finger. Uh, but my favorite song off of this is probably Synchronicity too. Um, uh, the Police Synchronicity, uh, same year I believe, nineteen eighty three. Now we're going to get into high school at this time. Um, still wasn't probably getting too heavy in the high school realm. Um, it's not like I was listening to Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast uh, in 1982 in grade school, you know. Uh, that came a lot later. But <laughs> so I wasn't familiar with it at this point. Even in high school, everybody was listening to the... Uh, you know, the Molly Crew, Poisons, uh, Bon Jovi's, all that stuff, Cinderella, Rat, you know, buddies all trying to, hey, listen to this, listen to that. And that's probably when I was more so into the older, the Led Zeppelin Doors, 
Beatles, everything that was old. But some of the new stuff at the time, uh, here we go again, cassette tapes, big into this, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble in Step. Uh, awesome. You know, the, the blues rock. Uh, lo- I love some Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, probably wearing that out. Uh, another Stevie Ray cassette tape uh, in Dad's truck that we'd wear out uh, whenever whenever he was riding around with Dad. Uh, another thing, too, because he kind of uh, got me in that same realm, all that stuff, uh, like the hard rock type stuff uh, from that late 80s era. Uh, and I'm going to show this to little Robert Plant, Manic Nirvana. You know, say, ah, not his best uh, solo album or whatever. I dig it, you know, when I was at that time. Uh, what is the what is the song? I can't even remember the big song. I heard in kind. There was probably a couple other singles or whatever off of there. Uh, of course, was already listening to Now and Zen, which was a, a little bit earlier. Uh, but a little Robert Plant, Manic Nirvana from the... Uh, Late 80s there for what we're calling high school. Um, I listened to some other stuff, but I probably, to be honest with you, uh, had some friends that were listening to some Maiden and some Wasp, uh, some stuff like that. And the Zonk Man actually, I guess, wasn't ready yet at that time frame. (laughs) Uh, But uh, on into, we'll call it the college years and the Zonk Man. The Zonk Man didn't do no college years. But anyway, Zonkman actually went into the military. So that was like the four years of going off and uh, being on your own, not necessarily doing my own thing, but uh, definitely getting into the music that I like. And we're going to step right into early 90s, and it's the Zonkman is into the grunge scene, of course. Um, of course, it had all the uh, the Pearl Jam, Nirvana, you know, all that stuff's great, all that stuff's great. But probably, probably the, re- the album, the CD, that uh, was trying to burn it up at that era was this Soundgarden, Bad Motor Finger. Man, love this record. Oh, because Rusty Cage, Outshined, Jesus Christ Pose, Slaves and Bulldozers. Oh, yeah, that was just heavy grunge uh, stuff there. And then still kind of staying on the same... uh, kind of blues rock realm. Did a little big head, found out about Big Head Todd and the Monsters. Uh, this is a Sister Sweetly album. This is 93. Uh, Bittersweet. I love the song Circle. That's probably my favorite Big Head Todd and the Monsters song is Circle. Uh, these cats are still putting it out, still touring. Uh, I've talked about it in previous videos. Uh, me and the wife just went to a concert uh, earlier this year that they're, uh, you know, promoting their latest record. So that was a couple. And I'm going to throw like another bonus after years. Uh, you know, I feel like my tastes and music and everything kind of fall right in line with Brian, you know, uh, except when he started talking about his college years, I never really got into it any of that 90s country uh maybe listen to a little garth brooks or something like that here and there never really gave that never gave country a chance or whatever uh and then that's when the zonk man started going heavier was in that earlier 90s uh time frame but this is another album that i just love when it came out corrosion of conformity deliverance Man, I still wear this thing out to this day. This is one of uh, the Zonk Man's originals. I do have the original CD that I bought back in 1994, uh, and it's uh, it's it's survived, but uh, but it's been beat up. The jewel case has been beat up. Love that album, Pearls Before Swine, um, all that stuff. Man, clean my wounds. Heaven's Not Overflowing, uh, Broken Man, great record from uh, Pepper Keenan and those guys, uh, Corrosion of Conformity. All right, I just wanted to do this video. Uh, You guys support uh, Brian at Brian's Vinyl Records. He's got a great channel. 
celebrating the 100 subs. Congratulations, Brian. I appreciate your channel. I appreciate you doing a contest. Uh, this has been fun, just to kind of like step back, step back in time, uh, figure out, you know, well, what was I actually listening to? Maybe some stuff that I don't necessarily uh, want to uh, show on video or whatever, but you showed new kids on the block. So I said, ah, I can show some Michael Jackson thriller. Um, so anyway, you guys have a great day and uh, peace, namaste, all that stuff.